bodies are made of cells, and inside each cell is a nucleus with 23 pairs of chromosomes, our DNA. We get one copy of the genome from mom and one from dad. The letters represent four nucleic acids, adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine. They make up the double helix of DNA. The exclamation marks show a place where mom and dad have different nucleic acids. We can measure genetic variation by looking at how these nucleic acids vary between people. This one DNA location is a single nucleotide polymorphism, a SNP. Here, one person is heterozygous and one person is homozygous. When we look at a lot of people, we can measure the frequency of a given nucleic acid, or allele, at this SNP. Here, A and T are equally represented. When we divide a population into people with a disease, or cases, and those without disease, controls, we can compare allele frequencies between the two groups. It looks like T is associated only with cases at this SNP and in this population. Then we do this for all SNPs across all the chromosomes of our genome. We call this a genome-wide association study, or GWAS. Here, I'm showing the statistical representation of such a study. We can perform genome-wide association studies for diseases like heart disease and Alzheimer's disease, or for quantitative traits like height and blood pressure. Here are some findings that have come from GWAS. The genetic associations we find lead to medicines, treatments, and better understanding of human health and genetic variation.